good morning and a good afternoon and a good evening hello beautiful beautiful face yogis how are you and fumiko here can you see where i'm at can you guess there's a hint here Ta -da. i want to show you a little bit outside yep can you see so we are in Hawaii right now. We just got here last night, or well, yesterday, um, for about, um, my daughter's birthday. And we are going to celebrate her birthday here in Hawaii. But I wanted to just pop in and say hello and a good morning and good afternoon. I'm having, of course, a cup of hot water. I cannot start my day without hot water. So here I am, it's almost empty here. I need to get more. So today, I want to talk more about life, okay? As many of you know, how much I like to talk about life, right? So I am going to talk about life today and we are gonna go a little deeper so that you can really have your life and live your life to the fullest. So that's where we're gonna at. Are you good? Okay, hi, Marta. Hello, hi. Thank you so much for joining me. So, like I said, in this life, I want to talk about, you know, perfect career. Life and a perfect career. Does it sound good to you? But what is a perfect career anyway? I want you to think about it, okay? And let me know in the comment your definition of a perfect career. What is it? The time? you know, how long you spend in office or how much money you make or what is it or contribution to the society or whatever you want to say, okay? And this is a part two video in our series of a perfect career. So if you have not watched my previous video, please go and watch because I talked about, um, you know, career. It's, I think it's uh, something like I really want to talk about it and I'm going to go a little bit more into it why I like to talk about it, okay? So some of you, you know, probably might know before I started the face yoga method journey, I was teaching at uh, one of the oldest women's universities in Japan and I had a four month paid vacation. Is it good? And it was really such a great job because well respected and uh, very well paid and also prestigious position for women. Okay, why I say for women? Because I grown up in Japan and I always felt that I didn't have much opportunities to feel equal to a man. I mean, I don't like to say that, but that's how I felt. And also I was told that, you know, the teaching position of uh, teaching high school or university, which that's what I did, really, you know, give the women like freedom to express themselves compared to the office setting. So I thought that's a good job. And I really liked it. You know, like I said, four month paid vacation. And I remember after I finished teaching, vacation starts, always, always I travel somewhere. And I loved it so much. But you know what? Inside of me, there's something missing. Like, oh, it's a great job, but, you know, this bad. Have you ever felt like that? Like, this is great, but, or in a relationship. Oh, he's great, but. So this bad is a, uh, uh, something you need to really focus on. What is it? So I tried to convince myself, you know, this is a good job. It's a great job for women, well-paid and respected. Like why I'm complaining about it? I have to really appreciate, but very, very deep inside of me says like, is this is it? Is this my life? I'm going to do this the rest of my life. I was a little scared, but I also I was very scared to leave that great position. So one day I decided to write in my notebook, you know, what is, are the must haves for my perfect career? And the three, especially three aspects of my life or my perfect career. So if you are really thinking about, you know, changing your career or thinking about what you want to do in your life, a rest of your life, write down like maybe 10 things you need to have in your life or perfect career. And then check the number one, two, three, the first three that is something you really want to focus on, especially that third one, okay? 
third one is a magic answer to what you're really looking for. So I'm going to start. So when I wrote that in a list, the first one was uniqueness. So that's something I really wanted to have. Something different and something fun and something unique that nobody can do it. And I'm a very, very curious person in nature and I like challenges. So I could not see myself sit in the office and do the same thing over and over. I just could not, I just could not do it, right? And the second aspect was freedom. Yes, as you can see, I love freedom. And ever since I was younger, I just wanted to travel. And I wanted to walk from anywhere in the world. And as you can see, I'm here in Hawaii. Sorry, it's a little bit noisy outside. And as long as I have Wi-Fi, which I do now, I can walk from anywhere in the world. So this is really a dream job. And the third aspect was helping others. I wanted to do something. My perfect job have to be something helping others. I can't sit in front of a computer. Well, I can do it if that helps people. But I love the transformation. That's why when I was teaching at the university and also high school, you know, the beautiful part was that I was able to really feel my students. And in fact, I got the message from one of my students. I still keep in touch with many of my students, even from high school when I was teaching at high school. I love that fact. I love that I'm doing something helping, especially women. I'm always, always wanting to help women. That's why I taught in girls high school and all these women's universities. Like, ah, such a great job, but I left, right? And that is why I was teaching, like I said, at women's university. But the reason is that coming from a Japanese background, society, I felt the limitations, sometimes restrictions that, oh, you know, when you grown up, you could not be like this or you could not, you know, get a job like this. There's, I felt the restrictions. I just didn't like that feeling of, oh, I could not do this because I'm a woman. And in fact, I decided to go to graduate school. My parents are lovely people. My friends are lovely, but they did not think it was a good idea for women to go to graduate school. Why? Because they said that going graduate school limit my opportunities what it doesn't open the door limit my opportunities what does it mean because you get too smart in the head and the companies do not want to hire you or probably <laughs> you can't even find a perfect husband because you are too smart in the head I was just like no way so I went to graduate school and uh, I had a little bit hard time to get a job, but I got the teaching job. So that's my little bit story. So back to the video one, I talked about finding perfect career, right? So if you haven't watched that, please go and watch that too, because I talked about the journey, how to find a perfect career that many of us take toward the perfect career, okay? And we saw that only career, I have found that combines the three mandatory aspects of my perfect career, which was, I said that, right? The first one was uniqueness. So it's different, right? And the second, freedom. So I can walk anywhere. Ah. And the third one is ability to help others, especially women, is teaching face yoga. Like I really think this is my hobby almost. Of course, I work really hard, but I just cannot help myself and then come up with all the poses and sharing all the little informations. And when I see the changes on students' faces, like you, Face Yogi, I get such a like, ugh, such a job? Like, does it even exist? It is a job, right? And I love it. So what do you think? Now, you might hear a voice inside said, oh gosh, yeah, because it's you, Fumiko, you know, because your funny personality or because your blah, 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 blah. And that could never happen for me. Wait a minute. Some of you, maybe already a yoga instructor or in the wellness or health fitness or in that industry, and don't think it's a perfect career. I want to tell you the only reason that they do not think it's the perfect career for them is because they don't have that secret 
that I am going to teach about in this video okay so if you're having a perfect career if you think this is it it's great but if you feel like a little tiny voice inside of you say is this it that's what I want to talk about okay so the secret is something I came upon you know unexpectedly when I was I started teaching not just even college but especially face yoga and I apply it to my students and my students' faces and trusting myself and my intuition, which is crazy, I'm gonna talk a little bit about too, and relying on my own wisdom. And then the belief that I can really change my life and create the life I want, especially as a face yoga method teacher too. So it all starts with, are you ready? Mindset. Like, yes, mindset. It starts from here your limiting mindset hey you have to become aware of the unconscious habits in your life the same thing you know face exercise right how are you doing are you squinting are you looking down that mindset you have to be aware or in your head that maybe holding you back the little tiny voice listen to that and i do believe if we want to have a perfect career or perfect life what is the definition of perfect career perfect life anyway and live our life to the fullest we need to be aware of what is stopping us so what is limiting us and a maybe our cultural background in my case right my upbringing yes my case because I was told going to graduate school will limit me and I'm gonna be less desirable that's what I was told Okay, so I believed also for longest time because of my English is not my first language. As you can see, Japanese is my first language, so I can speak Japanese perfectly. But English, yes, when I get excited, I kind of, you know, goes all over. I go all over. But the best way to get freedom for me as a Japanese woman was to be a teacher. That's why I wanted to be a teacher. And I was even told that, like I said, graduate school was not good for women. Like what? Because it gets too much in your head. So I was really sad and I really, really don't want you to think that you cannot do it. You cannot have a perfect career. You cannot per have a perfect you know, life, but you have to define it. What is that? Okay, what is your perfect, what is your ideal life? Like I said, my three things I need to have is uniqueness and a freedom, right? A time with my family. And the third one is helping others, especially women. So when I had a little tiny voice, but I was still convincing myself that, no, this is a good job. I have to stay, I have to stay. My parents were so happy too, but I got in a near fatal car accident. Right? I could have been dead right there. I'm so lucky that I'm still here. I felt like I got a second chance. So that was almost 18 years ago. Can you believe it? So when I started teaching face yoga, okay, I was laughed at by so many people. Yes, I did lots of TV shows. You know what people said? The funny face girl, a funny face woman. Yeah, people did not take it seriously. And before that, I was teaching at, like say, prestigious university. Can you believe it? So of course, <laughs> my friends and my parents weren't happy. They thought I was crazy. And one of my best friends asked me if I lost my pride. She said, do you still have a pride? Why you do the funny, she said, why you do the, the silly face to show people? I don't understand. That's what she said. And my mom, she didn't, she didn't like it. She didn't like the perk, you know, perk that I took this crazy job as a face yoga and then left my job at the university because she thought that was the best job for women, right? It was a hard time because I had to really believe myself. I have to listen to that, like my heart and nobody was believing in me and nobody was teaching face yoga. There's no word such as face yoga. And there's nobody that thinks, thought that moving face is a good thing. It was very, very hard at the beginning. But right, right now, look at this. Like, look at the social media. So many face yoga people, right? And inside I knew, however, like, this is it. This is the job. 
this I'm gonna create. I didn't call it career. I didn't call it a job. Like this is it. I love it so much. Freedom, helping people, and it's so unique. So that was almost 18 years ago. So when I was still teaching in Japan, let me tell you this story too. I was so obsessed with the uh, you know results of the students, right? Like get the result, give you a result. Okay, this is how you're gonna look. Get rid of all the lines and wrinkles, spot. And I was so focused on that. And one day a student came, she was in her late 60s or early 70s. And I wasn't sure if she's gonna stay for my class. She stayed and she came back again, 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 again. And almost three months later, she told me, she said, Fumiko, you know, I came to the class, your class, because I really didn't really think I was beautiful. I'm old, but now I don't care my wrinkle, yes, my skin, my face start looking better. But what I want to tell you is that you changed my life. I'm like, what? Did I, how did I change your life? She like, I feel good inside. I love myself more. Like, wow, that hit me. And that was a moment I said, wait a minute, face yoga can change people's life. So I started saying, change your face, change your life. And I was already very confident that face yoga exercise could change people's face. But only that moment, you know, the women said that, realized that face yoga has so much more than just tightening, strengthening the muscles. It was such a like aha moment, right? Like moving your face, why you change your life? So face yoga is a mindset. First, you must be, you have to be aware of your unconscious aging habit that's causing the sign of premature aging. So if you're practicing face yoga every day, and if you're not seeing the result, how about the habits you're doing? Do you go to bed with a stressed face? Do you frown all the time? Do you look down all the time? Are you drinking enough water? Right? So you have to really think about these habits. These habits are the one actually give you more change than you think. Okay? And then what happened after that? Second one is I think you're already doing. You have to <laughs> learn. You have to learn the technicality of all the face yoga method of pauses. I hope you don't just sit and then do like, okay, I watch her video and then feel like you did something. No, you have to move your face muscles. It's like a doing diet, but just thinking about it and just sit and do nothing, right? You have to move your face. And you have to do it right though. You can't really move randomly. You have to move it right. And that third, you need accountability. Yes, to keep you on the right track. How many of you started you know new year 2022 this is gonna be a great year and how many of you are still keeping the new year's resolution i'm not judging but it's so so common for many 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 people including myself that new year's resolutions i don't really believe it why because why not start every day fresh instead of wait for one year to start something and then according to statistics almost i think 90% of people drop all the new year's resolution amazing you know plan they have by mid february so let's start you know even right now so that you can have every day fresh start okay so once you have these three defining factors okay awareness right you have to be aware how you're doing and the action you have to take action you can't just sit and wait for the face started going really young again no and then third one accountability like you are now right you need some push you need a little bit of support but also when you see other people's transformation how do you feel like do you feel like oh i can do it because she did too that happened to my students all the students Right? She came to a class and she did it and other students started helping. She started mingling and she loved it and like it changed her life. So you need to have all the tools and once you master all your thoughts and your, your fears and everything, yeah, it just, it just changes your life. Did that make sense? So for me, when I realized like, wait a minute, face yoga is not just one exercise for the face. No, it's more than that. I started seeing changes 
and I got so busy all over Japan I started going you know one meeting to another TV show interview money started coming in I was becoming pretty you know um, kind of famous in Japan and then you know what happens again I started hearing some voice inside like this is it it's too busy I have to go to TV station at 11 p.m. at night to start a show like I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it so I thought about it like wait a minute I worked so hard to be you know to be recognized and to be accepted by the society am I going to leave again and I lost I decided I'm gonna just leave Japan and I decided to leave my face yoga job in Japan the peak of my career same thing people thought I was crazy parents thought I was like are you sure but many people like why are you doing this again why you leave this is so good for you why you created such a great business you're you're making money why you leave why because remember the most important three most important aspects of my perfect career freedom I have to have a freedom I can't just walk like crazy and no personal life I could do it some people probably can do it I can I can do it so I had to listen to my heart again right such a gambler I think I am sometimes but I could not ignore my tiny voice inside because my heart was telling me it this is it this is it no so I left and I got married and I started family and uh, we started my business partner and sister-in-law Maria started online face yoga method program 2012 why online because I said wait a minute if it's online I can work from anywhere in the world yes one of the important aspects of my life of my perfect career was a freedom so creating a life of freedom takes action it's scary and I don't know how I did it I mean to be honest but I listened to my heart and it's so worth it if you really want the life you deserve okay so write down what you want to have in your life and I'm not sitting here in Hawaii by accident because you know car accident and because I'm so lucky no I consciously chose and created this reality by taking action and trusting myself toward the lifestyle I wanted for myself and for my family did I make sense and my method for practicing and teaching okay was a fail proof way of teaching face yoga all to others I knew that but other part you know I have to really really decide what I want in my life and I'm here because I realized I could grow my business by teaching other face yoga and teachers and I could increase the reach of face yoga method worldwide remember the third aspect of my perfect career was the third one right that was helping others right so I really love helping others and my team and I spent almost I think almost three years creating the face yoga method teacher certification course because I wanted to put everything you know I wanted to say and the graduate of the course master of the method all the poses over um, I have many many poses I think right now I always add more so now we have more 90 poses and then they can take the skills to the world and teaching other people like you and changing their life like oh this is the job I wanted helping others and last year I visited you know Europe and met about 25 of the teacher certification course students and we had a cup of hot water hot water gathering and it was a magical moment a dream come true for me because I loved every single second of it getting to know students more in person and also I felt the passion they love face yoga but also they're so ready to help others and change their face and lives it's such a I felt so so grateful really meeting them it was truly a you know highlight of my um, trip to Europe people asked me like what's the best part of Europe like oh meeting students yeah so that's a secret behind the success of the face yoga method you know mindset you can master this method and teach others it's not just a pose I'm saying that right no matter who you are and no matter where you're at because it's a proven formula 
I've been using, you know, for I don't know, the teacher certification started 2017. And now we have over 90 poses I teach teachers. And you can take this method or the tool to create successful yoga business, face yoga business, and have clients coming back to you again and again. I share all the mindset too, because mindset is so important. And this is one business that can thrive in any economic climate, right? Everybody wants to look good. And take it from me, I'm here in Hawaii. So tomorrow, I'm hosting a live face yoga method teacher certification course info session. So this is a free session for anyone who wants to, you know, who is interested in becoming a face yoga teacher. Okay? who wants to create the life you want to create. And if you ever felt like this path could be the right one for you, I want you to come to this free info session tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, The link to register is right here in the description. And becoming a face yogi, I want you to really think about it too. It's not the poses I just teach. It's a mindset and create the life you want. That's why I want you to think about it. If you want to be a face yoga method teacher, what are three important aspects of your perfect career? What you want to do? How you want to live your life? Like I said, I was called crazy because I left my teaching job, university, and I left a face yoga job in Japan and uh, decided to do online. Really, people thought it crazy. In retrospect, I don't know what I was thinking, but I think I listened to my heart because that's what my heart said. This is not it. I need something. So I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there was a time change, um, a summertime now in California. So please, you know, check your time. I don't know differences in your country. And I'll go more detail and talk about how you can change your life and how you can create your perfect career through face yoga method, okay? I'm gonna just go quickly and take a couple questions here. Okay, here and see. Hello, Graciela, hello, thank you. Okay, oh, Sonia, hello, yes. Hello, hello, yes, you're a graduate, yes. Wonderful, okay, yeah, all right. And okay, so tomorrow's live is not for that, you know, how to um, reduce um, cheek muscles. No, it's more about want to how to create the life, okay? How to create the teaching and career. And hello, Nadia, hello, hello, okay, hi, Manu, okay, great, yes, hi from Brazil, Diana, yeah, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, all right. Thank you so much and I love you all. Okay, so think about it, write down. It doesn't need to be a face yoga um, teacher, but I want you to really think about what you want in your life, how you wanna live your life. Three things, okay? And uh, if you wanna do face yoga, come and I'll see you tomorrow and we're gonna go a little deeper. All right, 